ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله قتقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد imagine a person with wealth a person with power a person with influence comes to you and tells you also and so also and so shall i offer you a deal shall i tell you of a way that will make you gain power and wealth shall i tell you of a way to gain influence in society you and i we would all say without a doubt yes show us a way show us a way to success show us a way to wealth show us a way to power we would trust this person because why he's he has already attained this success he's already attained this wealth so we would listen to every word they tell us we would hold on to all their words we would trust them but guess what oh believers you and i we've been given something better than that we've been given a much better transaction we've been given a much better trade by who by allah azza wa jalla and before i start i need to say walillahi al-mathal al-a'la to allah for allah is the highest example wa huwa al-aziz al-hakim allah is the almighty and all wise today wallahi the verses i'm going to talk about it is so inspiring and motivating for me these verses every time i read them when my iman is weak i go to these verses and it rejuvenates my iman my iman come back alive allah azza wa jalla says in the quran يا ايها الذين امنوا هل ادلكم على تجاره تنجيكم من عذاب اليم سبحان الله الله سبحانه وتعالى you who believe shall i give you a deal shall i show you of a deal that will save you from a painful punishment سبحان الله this is from allah who is the master of the day of judgment is allah azza wa jalla the day of judgment allah says يوم لا تملك نفس لنفس شيئا والامر يوم اذ لله on the day of judgment no one will be able to help you no one has the power to help you and all the commands is for allah azza wa jalla and this allah is telling you and i shall he tell us of a way that will save us from a painful punishment wallahi all of us we hope that we don't get punished on, on the day of judgment now here is allah giving us a way an offer a deal to save us from a punishment ya allah tell us wallahi this verse you can feel the love the care allah has for us that he wants to tell us he said hal adullukum first person shall i allah tell you of a way that will save you from a painful punishment yes tell us so let's talk about that today the first requirement this deal that allah is offering us the first thing we need to do is what tu'minuna billahi wa rasuli that's the first thing you and i need to do allah says the first requirement is that you sincerely believe in Allah and his messenger but let's stop for a second what does it mean to believe in Allah and his messenger to minuna billah it mean that you believe in the existence of Allah azza wa jalla that you believe that Allah alone has control of the heavens and the earth he controls the affairs of the heavens and the earth he is the sustainer the provider he is the one that controls life and death Allah azza wa jalla is the rabb of the alamin of all that exists to minuna billah it means to believe that Allah has no equal and there's no one similar to Allah azza wa jalla to minuna billah to believe in Allah it means that you believe that Allah alone deserve to be worshiped la ilaha illa allah 
None has the right to be worshipped except Allah Azza wa Jal. Subhanallah. A beautiful hadith just came to my mind. Mu'ad ibn Jabal, radiyallahu anhu. And Mu'ad was a scholar from amongst the Sahaba. Very knowledgeable. One day, Mu'ad, he says, and this hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. Mu'ad said that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him a question. He says, Ya Mu'ad, atadiri mahabbu Allahi ala al-ibad. Oh Mu'ad, do you know what is the right of Allah upon the servants? Do you know what is Allah's right, the creator? What, what is the right of Allah upon us? Do you know what it is? Qala Allah wa rasooluhu a'lam. Mu'ad, he says, Allah and his messenger did know best. Meaning, I don't know. Your prophet, tell me. He says, and ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bihi shay'an. The right of Allah upon you and I is that we worship him alone and never associate any partners in worship with Allah Azza wa Jal. That's all Allah wants from us. That we worship him alone and never associate any partners with him. Then the prophet said, O oh Mu'ad, but do you know what is the right of the servants upon Allah Azza wa Jal? So who can, who can impose their right on Allah? This means that Allah himself has imposed his right on himself. Allah is saying if you worship him alone, if you don't commit shirk, the, the Prophet says the right of the servant upon Allah is what? Mu'ad says, Allah and his messenger know best. He says, subhanAllah, if you and I sincerely fulfill this requirement and we worship our Creator alone and we do not commit shirk, Allah will not punish us. Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us from those who don't get punished. Ameen. Then, what does it mean? Tu'minuna billahi wa rasooli and the messenger. Let's focus on that. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it means to believe that Prophet Muhammad was sent as the final messenger to mankind. The final messenger. Anyone who believes there's a messenger that will come after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not a Muslim. Because that is, that is a deal of Iman. To believe that he's the final messenger. And he was sent to be obeyed. That's what Allah azza wa jal said. وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ Subhanallah. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ Allah said, and whatever the prophet and messenger, whatever he gives you, take it. And whatever he forbids you, abstain from it and fear Allah. In another verse, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ قُلْ أَطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولُ فَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرِينَ Allahu Akbar. Allah says, O Muhammad, say to them, if you truly love Allah, then follow me, follow my sunnah. A Muslim cannot be a Muslim if they deny the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We have to believe in the Quran and the Sunnahs. Here it is: follow my way, and Allah will love you, and you'll forgive your sins, and know that Allah is often forgiving and most merciful. Qul say to them, Ati Allah wa Rasul. So those who say no, we just have to obey Allah, we just have to obey the Quran. No, Allah is saying, Wa Ati Allah wa Rasul. Obey Allah and the Messenger, but if you turn away, if you refuse, if you don't want to obey Allah and the Messenger, Allah said, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرِينَ Allah does not love those who are disbelievers. So if you deny to follow the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, Allah is calling those persons disbelievers. In another verse, so we can keep on going. When it comes to the Messenger of Allah, وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولِ فَإِن تَوَلَّيْتُمْ فَإِنَّمَا عَلَى رَسُولِنَا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. But if you turn away, Allah is not going to force no one. Yes, you have your free will, but the consequence, then be ready for that. Allah said, if you turn away, then you should know the duty of our Messenger, his job is only to convey the message. So let's go back to this deal. The first thing is what? To believe in Allah and the Messenger. We've already talked about that. Then, what to jahiduna fi sabi'i lahi bi amwalikum wa anfusakum. Dhalikum khayrun lakum in kuntum ta'lamun. Then Allah said, Oh, you believe if you do what? To struggle in the cause of Allah with your wealth and with your life. That is better for you if you only knew. Whenever Allah says that, it amazes me. What does. 
What is and why I say if you only knew the reward that's waiting for you on the day of judgment, you rush to take up this deal. All you have to do is believe in Allah and His Messenger and strive with all your money, with all your wealth, with all your life to please Allah. This verse is highlighting something very important. That whatever we do, it is not to show off. You and I, we are here to please one, one being, that's Allah Azza wa Jal. That's it. Every action we do, it is for Allah Azza wa Jal. What a deal. So let's look at what Allah is going to give us if you and I fulfill this deal. Aqulu qawli haza wa sakfila li wa lakum. Bismillah, alhamdulillahi, was salatu was salam, ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So what do we get if we fulfill this deal Allah has offered us? This amazing deal. First, we already know Allah says that doing this deal is going to save us from a punishment. But what are we going to receive from Allah? Allah starts out by telling us the reward of the akhirah, the reward of the afterlife, because that's the priority. We are only here to make sure we get back to the Jannah. So Allah is going to tell you what you're going to receive in the year after. Allah starts out because the year after is what? It is better and it's everlasting. Allah says, That's the first reward. If you fulfill this offer, this deal, if you take it off and act on it, Allah says you'll forgive your sins. Who amongst here, who amongst us here can say, No, no, I don't want this. We are all sinners. Every one of us, we hope to be forgiven on the day of judgment. That's all we hope for. Yeah, Allah forgive us. Here's Allah is telling you that if you fulfill this deal to believe in Allah and His Messenger, to strive with your money and with your wealth, to please Allah, Allah is saying, if you do that, the first thing I will give you is forgiveness, complete, erase your sins. Then the next one, وَيُدْخِلْكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْهَارِ وَمَسَاكِنْ وَمَسَاكِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتَ فِي جَنَّةٍ عَدِنْ ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Allah says, after forgiving your sins, Allah said, I will cause you to enter into Jannah on the which rivers flow. Jannah has rivers. The garden of paradise, can you imagine this? This is a different realm. We, can, we know what that means. Rivers is flowing under it. Allah is saying that. But do you know what that means? You walking in Jannah, you look down, you see the rivers flowing under it. But guess what, brothers and sisters? In Jannah, there is not one type of rivers. There are four types of rivers. Fiha anharu mimma in rayri asin. That's the first part. Allah said, in Jannah, there are rivers of water. It doesn't get contaminated. This water, they appear. Min rayri asin wa anharu min laban. Rivers of milk. Allah Akbar. Allah says, Let me tell you, it does not change. The taste is always sweet. So that's the third one. The first one, rivers of water in Jannah, rivers of milk, river of wine. Stop for a second. This is not the wine that we have in this dunya, right? No, this is not the dunya wine where you drink it, you become intoxicated, you got a headache. No, Allah says, let that be. This wine, they are sweet to those who drink it. Ah, what's the, what's the fourth one? What's the fourth type? The last type, Allah said, وَأَنْهَارُ مِنْ أَسَلِ مُصَفَّى And rivers of pure honey. Allah Akbar. That is what's waiting for us if we fulfill the deal of Allah Azza wa Jal. Then he said, وَمَسَاكِنَ الطَّيِّبَةِ And beautiful, beautiful palaces, beautiful dwellings in Jannah. Subhanallah, you don't have to go to the bank and get mortgage loan. No, your payment for those palaces in Jannah is right now. You are paying for this right now. Right now, by fulfilling this deal, believing in Allah Azza wa Jal, striving to please Allah, that's your payment. These palaces, it's not one palace. You have thousands of palaces in Jannah, and they are huge and beautiful. It's already made for you. You don't have to worry about it. Your wife doesn't have to decorate it. No, oh, you're getting this beautiful. Subhanallah. You know what Allah says about this? The reward to be forgiven and to have Jannah, Allah says, You and I, we are searching for success. Allah said, That is the greatest success. To be forgiven, to be entered into Jannah, and to have these palaces. Wallahi, that is the greatest success. You think it's done? Allah tells us about the reward of the, of the year after. Then Allah says, And more thing you love, 
What is that? Now Allah will tell us the blessings you will get in this dunya. Because when you worship Allah alone and you sincerely please Him and follow the Sunnah, the reward, the payment is not restricted to just the Akhirah. No, Allah will give you reward in this dunya also. وَأُخْرَى تُحِبُّونَهَا نَصْرُ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَفَتْحٌ قَرِيبٌ وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah says, and the aid from Allah, the help from Allah from your enemies. Allah will help you against your enemies and give you victory. This is the lesson for you and I. Today, the Muslim Ummah, Wallahi, today our situation is sad. But if we want Allah to give us victory, if we want Allah to give us honor, go back to the Quran and the Sunnah. Stop following the non-Muslim. You want Allah to give you victory. Come back to the Quran. Come back to the Sunnah. We have to obey Allah and His Messenger. If we do that, Allah will give us victory. Then Allah said, I like this. O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, go, give this news to the believers. Tell them about this deal. Tell them about this beautiful offer Allah has given them. If they fulfill it, subhanAllah, they will be successful. Brothers and sisters, wallahi, this deal is better than any deal you can get in this dunya. In this dunya, this, for example, if you get into business, you get into a business deal, a trade, guess what? There's a 50-50 chance it will not succeed. We all know that. Some people take a risk. They get into business. Guess what? All their time and effort, it goes to waste. Nothing happens. You know why? Because nothing in this dunya is guaranteed. You are not, we're not even guaranteed that you will see tomorrow. That's the dunya. But the promise of Allah is This deal Allah has given us, the success rate is what? 100%. Wallahi, if you act on this deal that Allah has given you to believe in Him sincerely and to do all the action just for His sake, Allah, this deal, this success rate is 100%. You will never regret it. You'll never lose. Like Allah said, That is better for you if you only knew. Inshallah, one day, I hope that you and I, we are amongst the people of Jannah with Allah Azza wa Jal, where we see Allah. Allah will give them a pure dream. When you are in Jannah, you go meet Allah. Allah will, Allah will tell the angel to give you pure drink of wine. Delicious. You're enjoying yourself. Guess what? Then you will hear a sound. This is my last verse I will mention. You will hear a sound. And this sound, it will say, Allah. All your hard work. Verily, this is your reward. The Jannah, it will be said to you, enjoy yourself, no worry, eat and drink. This is it. All that hard work you did in dunya. You kept the Friday prayer every time. You fasted in Ramadan when it was too hot. You prayed five times a day. You stayed away from sins. You try your best to please Allah. The women, they wear hijab. They cover their faces. They wear long jilbab in the, hot, in the heat of the sun. You went through so much. Your, all your hard work, all your effort, Allah said, is being accepted, is being appreciated. Inshallah, one day we'll be in Jannah, we'll hear that sound. Brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful deal. May Allah make it easy for you and I to act on this deal. I mean, Allahumma inna ka'afuhun tuhibbul afa fa'afu anna. Allahumma inna ka'afuhun tuhibbul afa fa'afu anna. Ya muqalib al-quloob, thabbit quloobana ala deenik. ربنا أفرل علينا صبرا توفنا مسلمين سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد